Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 4. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we I was ex showing off a bunch of super combos and whatnot and some of the masters and it's a good time. So we're going to continue the story a little bit. I'm going to hopefully be able to show off that I have actually learned that there are two more combos of the secret variety, not just one more. Uh, and that will be of Graze as well. So, let's move on, shall we? Continuing with plot. Woo! Well, this looks promising. Of course, uh, my finger betrays me and I walk out. It's a good start to an episode. Good start. Hit the switch. Ah, we're finally in the area so that we now get the music that Faulu would get. We also encounter lizardmen. They use shields on allies. Good for them. So, let me just make sure we need wind. We got that in spades. We need water. As Darius now has icicle. And then we need Sias. We will just cast a... Uh, let's go with Tiger Fist. It just needs to be a melee skill. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ice skull to lightning. After going to lightning, it should go to... Ice Sword. Okay, that's heckin' intense and awesome. I wonder if that would work against the Treants. Probably not, they might be immune to that shit. It'd be hopeful thinking, but that pretty much all it'd be hopeful thinking. Uh, so we need to use the Icicle. We need an Earth user. Urson, do you have anything that's not just Quake? Oh wait, I was certain that Ursula had something. Yeah, she's got Rock Blast. She's fine. And then Cray comes in using... Oh, he can actually use fa Fairy Magic again. Well, actually use Fairy Magic, period. Kind of weird that he has... He himself has no physical uh, uh, skills. Oh well, let's see if it works with the Fairy Breath. Fairy Attack, however you want to say it. I don't care. Should combo over to a Storm. Or kill it. That works too. Had I have thought about this, I would have given him an additional uh, skill of the melee variety so he's not spending 20 freaking AP. But that presumed that I am smirt. On this thing. The gondola moves while the X button is pressed and stops when it is released. Avoid the logs and move the gondola forward. Can jump onto a log by move the gondola close to it. Cool. I'm not sure what log we're talking about here. Honestly. Although I do want that treasure chest. Is this the way I need to go? Well, logs. I'm not seeing logs to avoid. Also, is it possible to go back? It must be if I am able to go. All right, let's try this. No, wait, can't go that way. How the deuce am I supposed to get that treasure chest? Because the only thing I see is that one over there. I can't exit that way. That's the exit exit. I feel like I'm being de deceived. Only five minutes into the game. Damn it. Wait, did I pull a dumb? Did I hit that one that's over there? Or did I just assume that it was... Yes, I did. 
I did assume, I assumed correctly, that it belongs to that other one over there. Well, if I miss any treasure chests, I don't think I'm going to miss them too terribly. But that's mostly because reasons. Hello. Sporions. Probably not related to Eevee. Sometimes releases spores into the air when struck. That's neat. So let's hit them with some... Nope. Let's hit them with some water. Hit them with some uh, earth. Rock blast. And finally see if... See and hope that this works. If not, then this is going to be a fantastic display of fairyisms. Sorry about that. To the storm. Please don't actually cost 20 AP to cast this. It did. Mudslide my butt. This freaking going on full on wear tiger. I mean, okay. Again, a lot of build up for what it meant. What essentially just breaks down to a physical attack. But there you go. That's the last of the secret combos that seems to be known on the internet. I'm going to give Cray some healing. Mossweed. I'm derping. That's the one target. Now we need this one. Huzzah! Yay for the fairy village and being able to just purchase in bulk wisdom seeds. Hmm. Hello. Thousands any. Cool. Titan's boots. I bought a pair of those from the fairies, but hey, cool to find them just on the ground. Ah, now we combo these two. Oh, they have a Furangi? Damn it. That's the weapon that Darius was, is using that allows him to double attack, essentially. Just damn it. Um, see how much we can combo out. I mean, honestly, they're probably going to die to the first two. Fairy Breath will just be a nice little icing on the cake sort of a thing. Oh, Lizardmen are actually pretty fast. And that's inaccurate. And that's Fairy Breath. <laughs> it's ridiculous and really helpful. And imagine if you only have one target. Oh, man. I could hit for so hard. Oh, well. Fairy Breath. I don't know, the fairy stuff is always hit or miss with me. Like, I really love that attack simply because it's silly. But it definitely is a tonal shift when you consider what's at stake in this game. I don't know. You're allowed to have silly stuff in otherwise non-silly situations, but... Oh, that's right. Logs. Thanks. Well, didn't really intend for that to happen. Can I walk with this hand? Arms. Nice. Uh, not sure way, which way I actually have to go. Hello. Please allow me to summon up that one from this side. Wait. Is this just the beginning of the goddamn map? This is looking very beginning of the goddamn map. And that log moved on. Heck. <sighs> what other fairy ones did I have? You didn't have one. Pretty sure Urshan might have had one. Fairy breath. This will heal stuff. Maybe. Did I give that to Darius then? I did. And we'll just attack. Yeah. 
It heals and restores status, I presume. Fairy magic's weird, man. <laughs> it's also stupid expensive, so really I should... I should give fairy magic to the people with the most AP, being Ursula, Nina, and myself. Ah, uh, still. It's just silly. Anyways, let's try to get the frick out of this river. That this thing's so damn fast when it's crossing this way. Alright. So I see already how this is going to go. Uh, annoyingly. Because if I hit the logs, I will automatically jump... Okay. I will automatically jump onto the logs. And when I jump onto the logs, then I will be carried downstream. Now, don't think I didn't pretend to notice or anything that... These guys have a skill for me to learn. It's not shield. I assure you it's not shield. They're still gonna shield though. <sighs> okay. Cool beans. Please actually use the thing. There it goes. Wind strike. That was fast. It's nice that, uh, Cray actually gets one. Dun 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 dun. Bum bum bum. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how to kill them now. Probably just gonna be a fire blast slash cyclone. Yeah. Uh. Was it you? No. That's right. It was Sias that has... Take a fist. <clears throat> I don't think this is... This wasn't the combo to kill people, was it? Hmm. Oh, well. Even if it was... Oof. Maybe I should level up some. That actually did quite a bit of damage to her. Right. Ah, wind strike. Maybe I should level up to like 35 at the end of this episode. Simply because I don't want to be in a situation where it's like, oh, hey, we're doing fine, doing great. Dead. Which, trust me, has happened a few times. I had to start it off in entire videos again simply because I was like, well, Game over. All right, where do I come from? And that's right, I didn't save. All right. So pretty much I'm just going to try to ignore the logs. I'm not even sure if there's anything valuable with these treasures. Really, I, really I had uh, re-looked into what is going to happen after this part of the game and... Gotta tell ya, not too happy about it. Doesn't seem to be a lot of people here. This is Chiqua Village. It's not big or anything, but it's home. Oh, that's neat. Hi. Unusual weapons? Yes? We got a lot of unusual weapons. Light does a feather, but does it hit twice? That's the important question. Oh, that's right. I still have the hacking... I still have the coupons equipped it to Nina, I think. That's why her goddamn... Oh, God damn it, I feel so stupid sometimes. Make no commentary about that. Uh, but we'll equip... Everyone that can with some new armor. Hmm. 
No judging. I really do like the flamethrower, though. Even though I really didn't toss that much flames. Good deals on rare and unusual items. Ugh. I got all of these. Well, I got a few of these, but I can always use more later. Hi. Want to get to the capital of the Empire? Then you should go talk to Fu. He's a merchant that comes up here from the capital looking for stuff to trade. Neat. Where is he? Is he here? Hi. You a fisherman too? Then you should go try out the fishing spot to the north of here. <gasps> Another fishing spot. Can I not go up this ladder? Oh. I'm going to guess the guy that is dressed up in stereotypical Chinese gear is the one named Fu. That fellow with the white face says he'll buy anything he can't find in the capital, so everyone's trying to find something to sell him. Eh, reasonable. Especially if it's for an exorbitant amount of price. I am Fu Chuman. I see what you did there. My business is rare and collectible items. I come to this humble hamlet to search you for of these things. You wishing to go to capital? Yes, I'm knowing way. But business here not being done, need more items. You bring me item, my business done. <clears throat> you bring me item, I tell you how to get to capital. What is good item to bring? I can explain. Fish? Sushi, very popular food in capital. If you're making sh shisu, need three of any of these fish. Martin squid, salmon, or sea bream. Even just one of each, okay. Relics from ruins. Near Koshka village, there are ruins. Many rumors of a treasure hidden inside. You wanting to know about other rare items? Koshka pottery? Unique jars being made in Koshka village. Very popular in capital, but take long time to make. You wanting to know about other rare... Eh. You are bringing even one of these. I tell you way to capital. Wait, even one of these? So I could just fish. You are finding items? Oh, you are having fish needed for shisu. Please, you give them to me. Sure. Then I tell you how to get to capital. To south of this village is Long Long River. I make ri I make river to move items. I make river to move items to capital. Is this to insinuate that he himself had made this river? All right. You follow river south, you get to capital. Cool. That's actually a little bit of busy work that I totally remember not properly. Uh, but there's a fishing spot. I'm not going to fish. I'm just going to look at what is here. Because at the moment, I'm down to the last four fish. Four. Try fishing near the Martian lands. Wait. Another lake spot. Oh, but there is two fish I'm missing here. Ooh. <clears throat> Good thing I knew about this fishing spot, though. Otherwise, I'd have to shift a whole continent upwards in order to get to the other ones. Yeah, but... Uh, so there would have been another thing from Koshka here where I could have gone hunting for jars or go to some ruins. Kind of sad that I didn't go to the ruins. Item. Found a vitamin. Don't have enough space. Sadness. Alright, so uh, I, I guess we're gonna continue south. Right? Right. To the river. Using Cray, use Cray to move the boxes floating in the river. Use them to make a path across. The water level can be altered using the valves on the locks. It's a mini game. Let me guess, there's gonna be monsters here though, right? I still do have like maybe 20 more? Sounds reasonable, right? 20 more or so to end up getting? Or is this just mini game, the mini game? I think this might just be mini game, the mini game. 
Wait, can I not move it as long as it's... Okay, so where's the valves? <laughs> nope. Not even encountering it. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> and once again, I forgot to re-equip Nina with stuff. Aw, bolt archers. Dodges most attacks, becomes very dangerous if allies are killed. Well, I should kill them with their friends then, shouldn't I? <laughs> that sounded a little much. Uh, just quickly. Huh. Who had the... Oh, I might have put it on Urshan. But yeah, regardless, I got her a wisdom ring for that additional sweet, sweet buff. Because it's... It's, it's ridiculous. 20 more AP. MP. Right. Magic. Not MP. Didn't even need it. <laughs> uh, crate levels up. That's cool. Oof. Maybe I should get him a different master, though. I mean, that AP and, the M and HP is nice, but... I like him having stats. I like stats. Uh, is there something along this wall? Yes. Wait, can we just jump? Can we... Oh. That was relatively easy. Unless it's... Okay. Ooh, items. Found dirty filter. I've yet to find where it is I actually need to go in order to use the... Uh... Oh! Go in order to make all these armors that the game's telling me that I can make. Concerns me, really. Can't push any of these. Oh, there's something in the water, too. I'm not really all that concerned about it. Honestly, I'm at such a ridiculous level. Hello. I'm at, at such a ridiculous strength. Even if it is some sort of really helpful item. It's got to be something like... The strongest items for the characters in order for me to be all that concerned about them. Dead. Those are worth quite a bit of experience. Still probably more experience to abuse the heck out of those bots. Oh, hi. Hey there, strangers. I'm waiting for some goods to take to the Empire to get here. I could use someone to talk to. What do you want to talk about? Uh, the love. Trying to fool around with me? Stop wasting my time with your silly talk. Oh, heck you, guy. You just asked. I was all like, hey, I got an idea. It won't move. It looks broken. So... Are we screwed? Because that's, that's a very much screwed sounding situation. Oh, I gotta jump. I'm gonna raise or lower the water level. Let there be water. Uh... That didn't seem to work. Let, let there be water. There we go. Might take a little bit to get through this place. Hi, you are a lot. Mind play. I'm Cray? Really? Alright. If you don't want it to. Oh god, don't work on Urshan. Okay. Excuse me. I was saying, please don't work on Ursula. Damn. She on fire. Sorry. Got a lot of experience though. I ended up getting a feather sword. Did I not just buy one? Pretty sure I just bought one. 
No, he still got Piercing Edge. Wait. That's a Piercing Edge. You know what? I ain't gonna complain. That's two party members with their attacks. Huh. Dead even. Cool. That's two party members with their attacks. Higher than probably really necessary. I'm not sure why I pushed that. Just felt right, you know? Just felt right. Uh. Okay. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Okay. Iron Smirk. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Actually, wait, can I keep this up? Raise this one. Raise it. Oh. Son of a son of a frickin' does it, does it, does it. It makes sense. Doesn't mean I can't curse about it. Hi, you're new. Gener creates and can absorb wind slash water magic attacks. Well, I, just, I got some fire. I want some fire. I got some fire. I don't know what the hell is wrong. Uh, now we're gonna have, you know. Oh, but if they absorb wind, will they absorb typhoon? It's about time we check it out. Maybe it's one of those. It's got to be both, not either or. Also, Giga Flare. I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say overkill, but it was less than a thousand damage. Anyone level? No. Nope. Tasers. Neat. I'm also getting a lot of Zinni around here. Oh, that's right. I do have... Who is it that's training under uh, Marlock right now? I want to say it's Ursula. One moment, folks. Where was I? Right. And please be ready. Yes, cool. Awesome. Set. I just got to raise this one. Get one. Oh. Killing me, game. Wait. There's a chest in there. Might as well get the chest first. It's right there. I dip, dip. <clears throat> Hi again, guys. Welcome to the party. What party you might be seeing? The Giga Flare party. Bring the pain! Can't have that much uh, HP though, at the least. Like, me, like, look at the damage. Yeah. It's not a lot of damage. Oh well. Uh, no one mobile. Hack. Still, I'm glad about the zinny we're getting, though. Was I seeing things? I'm seeing things. I thought that there was treasure on that side of the thing. Heck it. GTFO. Son of a bitch. Can I just GTFO? Or the game gonna tease me? Nope. Out of here. Haha. <laughs> Foolish River can't stop me. Well, I might as well uh, go to this little village that's over here called Pock. This is familiar music. Don't get many visitors out this way, but we're always glad to see them. Oh, hey, they got whelks, too. You know the horses and whelks 
the Imperial troops right into battle, we catch them and sell them to the Empire. That's how we get our money. Every so often we go after monsters too. Dangerous business, I take it. Hi. You selling any of that uh, food there? Mithril armor. Just had an upgrade. Literally just had an upgrade. Ah. Nah, nah, you guys already got new armor? Ursula's getting this one. Wolf skin, though. Son of a... I don't know how the hell wolf skin is better than mithril armor. And I don't know why the hell they make it so as only Kray can't... Well, version makes sense. Kray not being able to wield wolf skin is just kind of like, what? Anyways. What? When I go to the capital, the only one here who's ever been there is Gramps. That's what everyone calls him. He lives in the tent over there. I'll avoid plot for a little bit. Uh, she's clucking like a cuckoo. The cuckoo's clucking like a cuckoo. There's not much here, but you're welcome to stay. Costs you a hundred zenny a night. Eh, why not? Might as well help some of these here folk with their daily dues, as it were. In any case, this is a good time to call an episode. When we return, we're gonna talk to Cramp, talk to Cramps, talk to Gramps about getting our asses over to the Empire, which technically we're already in. Hmm. Anyways, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am enjoying playing it once more. And as always, I shall see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>